second grade. Today we are going to do a lesson um, once again using money and we're going to be showing and counting back change from a dollar. So we're going to pretend today that I am the owner of a store or I work at a store and I'm the clerk. I have these items for sale in my store with price tags. So I've got a pencil that's worth 30, that costs 30 cents. I have a book that costs 90 cents. Markers cost 50 cents and so on. So I am going to pretend that I have a customer come into my store who would like to purchase one of these items. The issue is, or what we need to figure out, is that customer only has one dollar. So they don't have the exact price of any of these items, but they do have enough to buy these items because, as we remember, a dollar is 100 cents. And nothing in my store is over 100 cents. So we're going to pretend that the customer comes in today and the first customer wants to buy, purchase this pencil. They want to come in and they need a homework assignment done, so they need a pencil. So when they come in, I'm going to tell them that costs 30 cents. They're going to give me a dollar, so they're giving me 100 cents. All right, the customer came in my store requesting to buy this pencil. This pencil costs 30 cents and they have a dollar to buy it with. We remember a dollar is a hundred cents, so they definitely have enough money to, bu to buy a 30 cent pencil, but I, they paid too much, so now I need to give them their change back. So I'm gonna start with the price of the pencil with 30 cents, and I'm gonna use my dimes to count by tens to get back up to that dollar. I'm gonna take their dollar, and I'm gonna start 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So now their change back is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. They get 70 cents back and I've taken their dollar. All right, so someone has just pen purchased a pencil but I have a second customer come in the store and they are really looking for a good book to read and lucky for them I have this boxcar children book. This boxcar children book costs 90 cents and they have a dollar to purchase this with. To purchase it with. So they're going to give me a dollar, which is a hundred cents, and I just have to start with 90 and I'm going to count up to a dollar using my dimes. So 90, 10 more cents is 100, so they would get 10 cents back and they would get to keep their book. All right, some of these items do not end with zero. It was easy to count up by dimes when my numbers ended with zero. A few of these items end with five, so I know that I cannot just count up by dimes. So this time, I'm actually gonna try counting up. I have a pile of quarters in my cash register, so I'm gonna try counting up by quarters to see if it works for these other items. So a third customer came in my store and wanted to buy a pen. This person had some work to do, and this pen cost 25 cents. Once again, they came to me with a dollar. A dollar is more than 25 cents, so they can purchase the item, but they paid me too much. So now I'm gonna take their dollar and I'm going to count back by 25. So I'm gonna start with 25 that it costs and I'm gonna give them quarters. 25, 50, 75, 100. So they're gonna get three quarters back. And if I remember, I'm gonna count 25, 50, 75. So they get 75 cents back change and they can take their pen and be on their way. I'm gonna do one more like that, and that's this notebook. Someone else came into my store, asked to purchase this notebook, and gave me a dollar to buy it. They have enough money to buy it, but I, I need to give them change because they paid too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them their notebook over here. I'm gonna take their dollar, and I'm going to start with the 75 cents and count up until I get to that dollar they gave me. 75, 100. I just give them one quarter back because I know 75 plus 25 more is 100 and they get 25 cents change. We're going to keep working on doing that. There are some items such as these markers that you could do either. You could count up by dimes because it ends with a zero or you could count up by quarters because we know that 50, 75, a dollar, we know that two quarters together equals 50 cents. 50 plus 50 is a dollar. So you, you could do either one of these. While you're doing some of these lessons or even just to practice at home, if moms and dad have 
dimes or quarters, you guys could practice counting your own piles of change. You could play store with a sibling or with a parent and practice having them give you too much money and then you go ahead and count back up to the money that they gave you. Count back up to that dollar to see what change you would get back. All right, that's your math lesson for today.